So the rationale for the treatment is, is that for, for multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and other immunological diseases, the, the first thing we have to understand is that, that MS is not a neurological disease. It's an Im immunological disease. The immune system is attacking the central nervous system. And in rheumatoid arthritis, it's not a joint disease. It's an immune disease. The immune system is attacking the joints. So the problem is you have these activated, and this is the most science I'm going to have, and it's going to go way, it's going to go way down from here. So just bear with me through a couple of slides. But these, you have activated T cell clones in these diseases, right? And, and of course, in cases of rheumatoid arthritis, these clones are producing armies of cells that are attacking, right? In the case of MS, they're producing armies of cells that are attacking the central nervous system. So this is the process, and what happens is these, these activated T cells then start dividing, and they produce this army of cells, ultimately, that these, these cells that are going to attack the tissue. Well, what MSCs have been shown to do is block right here. So they don't block the activation. The activation goes ahead and continues on, but they block what's called clonal expansion, basically making an army of these cells. So uh, in the fat, in addition, the thing that I, I guess I'm missing a slide here is that the fat is a very rich source of MSCs. And when we originally started treating patients, we were using only from umbilical cord MSCs, and the, and the relative cost to isolate and basically create a, the, a number of cells that was effective was cost prohibitive. And then, then all, this, all these data are coming out about fat, and you know, fat is about 30% of the cells are MSCs. So we're like, why don't we just use fat? You know, and and uh, I'll talk a little bit about the safety of that later. But uh, all in addition to the the MSCs that are found in the fat, you also have T regulatory cells, which are active. They're actively immunosuppressive, where the MSCs modulate the uh, by by blocking clonal expansion. The T regulatory cells are actively immunosuppressive. 